Welcome back to Four Geeks by Geeks, the place where geeks go to gig out. As always, I am Bozer. Hi, Bozer. Hi, Bozer. I'm Josh. I'm Brent. Oh, oh, I'm Austin. Yeah, I'm T. And, and this is the first time we've ever introduced ourselves <laughs> at the beginning of the show. Take it away, Bozer. Wait, it only took... 34 episodes to get here. Look at us. We are a fine and well oiled machine. We're all gonna <laughs> die today, that's why. <laughs> TPK, anyone? Anyone? Woohoo! Challenge accepted. Total party <laughs> cocktail? I'm sorry, I'm just yeah. like. Yeah. I don't even need to help you. You guys do it pretty much well on your own. So, you guys make my job really easy. But all of you at home, thank you so much for tuning in and making it this far in the Cloudscape story you've had a great time thank you for letting us know um i missed you guys how have you been for the last week i've been okay eating. anticipating yeah i've been eating i haven't slept <laughs> are your pet's heads falling off uh i've been uh potty training uh my daughter not myself <laughs> okay oh i was gonna say how's it going oh, bud? Yeah, we're we're on a four-day streak of using the potty let's go hell hey! yeah Oh, I'm on a three-day streak of perfect uh, score connections. Oh, me too. What? What's this? God, we're getting um, old. Uh, doing con like a connection. It's like a bunch of words in a map, and then you find like the things that uh, relate to them. It's like a little puzzle game. Cool. Uh -huh. um, but for it's like a Wordle. It's the same website oh, okay. as Wordle. Okay. Um, uh, but for the last three days in a row when the new ones come out i haven't gotten a single guess wrong to complete the puzzle so nice. so have a humongous right. brain is kind of the issue big brain wow. energy i'm a big strands fan myself i've never heard of that but i can't what i simply I... can't add another thing to <laughs> what i do on that website so not <laughs> I just saw somebody post about the Wordle the other day, and I just remember the chokehold that that hot had on my life for a minute, and now I forgot about it completely. Such is life. Yeah. We dropped it when they were giving a bunch of random words, but when they they went, they recently went back to one word for the whole day, uh -huh. uh, and now we can like brag, like, oh, you got it in three? You idiot, I got it on two, which was a bad example, because getting in a three is actually impressive. But <laughs> pretty good. Two only happened one time. Anyway, <laughs> hurdle. hey guys, hey guys, we're going to play the game now. But we left off at kind of a mid break, um, only because we had to, not because I wanted to. I wanted to keep going, keep going. So I'm really excited to pick up where we left off last week. Are you guys ready? Four or five. Go. I'm going to go back to the earth. <laughs> Walk oh. by giraffe. Oh my goodness. We'll get your long leash ready because we're jumping into today's episode of Cloudscape. <laughs> Previously on Cloudscape. <laughs> Uh, our heroes finally met together somehow, some way. Um, they picked up, or Sirkin and Wayland picked up Theo, headed to Molly's because that was the first scientist they could think of to help his quickly debilitating condition. Fucking Molly go round. <laughs> Is that her new aspect? I'm making a note. Oh. As if she's not completely out of this campaign in your life forever. <laughs> oh, uh, have you seen my connection scores? <laughs> have you seen your face lately? Oh, face is the least of our concerns right now. Oh, uh, new stunt for you, Theo. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> <laughs> you took him to Molly's and wanting to help because even though he broke her heart many, many times, she still cared deeply for him, uh, helped you towards her, her uh, lab, which is at the Institute of Progress. Seems to be a popular place these days. Uh, you made your way in, flew, and swung into the hole in the wall from episode one up on the 12th floor. And uh, if Theo was awake, he might recognize the space that 
You previously found case 252, which is currently living in Theo's vault. No. Um, but they don't know that, though. No. But you do at home, right? Um, and <laughs> with some good rolls, you've managed to find something to bring him back. And when he came back, he wasn't quite the same. His physiology is changing. His emotional state is changing. And he awoke with a brand new wild yeah. magic table of X. <laughs> uh, and using those abilities, you made your way back to the Citadel to try to jailbreak Kit. Um, with some random rolls, some explosive farts, some strange extreme luck. You did manage to get your way into the Citadel, but not before Kit was taken away for her own safety out of her cell. So with Wayland waiting at the hole in the wall, Sirkin currently battling four drones that are on your tail um, a block away from the Citadel, and Kit being taken somewhere deeper into the Citadel, Theo came face to face with three light guards. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> if this isn't the consequences of my own actions. <laughs> so, so let's pick up right there. Theo, you made your way into the prison. You were running down the hallway. Um, as you could see through a small window in the door just ahead of you, Kit turning around and seeing her being led by two white guard. Three more turn a corner on the on your side of the door and are ready to disarm you. Good luck. Do we want to roll like a new initiative? I think so. Please roll, because we never rolled uh, last time. So please roll initiative. I've never been in combat. How does initiative work? We've been, been in combat. Roll. Remember you and me bought, meet up Dr. Ock MF Doom or whatever. Oh, that's right. You're going to roll kills what's his face anyways. So what are we roll rolling? perception? Okay. Time out. I've never been yes. in combat. <laughs> yes. You have. She's only beaten her grandma. Oh, no, you actually haven't. You <laughs> were outside of the combat. 34 yeah. episodes in. There's 34. I've never been in combat. That's wild. That's Ooh. crazy. I've been in so many combats. Oh. Wait. <laughs> well, uh, where were you? Uh, where we went and rescued Nan? In the she car. In the it car. Inside. Yeah. She was, in the car. she was ramming the car wild. into the side of the warehouse. Yeah. Yeah. I right. forgot I shot. You were kind of in combat. Episode. She was near combat. Yeah. She was in combat adjacent. So what do I roll? Perception. Perception. Um, Perception. You're technically. Are you? Are you trying to fight your captors? Well, she should still get an op opportunity to, like, move. interact. Like, yeah, like... Well, I'll give you the choice. If you... You'll definitely be able to interact, but within this combat scene, um, if you're trying to get into the action, then you'll have a turn in this turn race fight. But otherwise, you're able to make your own choices if you're not trying to fight in interactions when we, like, step out of combat and check in with you. Interesting. Do I have a choice to enter the combat... Uh if the situation allows like if like well because you're being taken away currently you're in another zone you're on the one side of the door okay theo's on the other side of the door with three light guard and so you are being taken away not okay. quite sure you're not quite sure where you're being led to okay. but if you would like to try to make a stand right here then we'll consider it one combat scene okay Probably not, only because it's me against them. And you've right got now. no hands. You've got an eye dropper. No hands. I've got pull them up. Um, I think you technically you you do have hands because in their haste, oh, yeah, they, they just pulled oh. you out of the cell. They didn't handcuff you. They just yeah. led you down. Um, okay, you so do have the the eye droppers of their actions. <laughs> <laughs> So are they like how many are with me? Two. Two. Two or one ahead, one behind, or um they kind of got you both by like linked back of your arm and they're just like leading you forward. Okay. I I gotta stop shouting, bros. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fucking uh... literally not five AM right now. I gotta adjust. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna get more Austin awesome this episode. That's my favorite part. I don't know what you're talking well, about. Austin. I have a plus two. 
Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Okay. I'm not okay either. Um, I got straight zero, so that's a plus two for me as well. I also got a straight zero. Okay. Wow. I had a plus one, so that put me at a two. Um, will the three of you roll athletics as well? Oh, yeah. I'm going to smoke, y'all. <laughs> two. Hold on. I can't do math. Theo got a zero. Yeah, I got a zero. I got a <laughs> You got a sort of four. Oh, is that no, four? I got three. Two? No, that was just me taunting them. Oh. <laughs> you throw up in confusing number hands again this episode. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> that was a what? I got a three. Okay. So it's going to be Wayland. <laughs> um, That's just yeah. for the, the people on YouTube. Okay. Um, we'll call it. I'm feeling a little manic, guys. I'm going to be honest. I'm sorry. I'm just going to apologize right now. I'm so I love excited. It. Let's capitalize on it, shall we? Yeah. Okay. We're, doing a, we're doing a jailbreak. Okay. All right. So as far as zones go, um, There's we'll say that no, Theo, no, really. you're in a, you're in a somewhat narrow hallway on your left side facing the light guard. On your left side, you've got three jail cells um you're currently let's say next to this the middle one which is closed the one ahead of you is also closed the one behind you is the one that kip came out of are uh, the cells open. filled with people no they're all empty oh damn <laughs> i was gonna cause a scene i was ready for some more npcs Freaking <laughs> fate no, riot. Riot. nope fate point Oh, I'm prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> the the DM is discretion. But that's true. Are you spending a fate point for that? No. Okay. I'll make you come up with NPC names later. I'll spend three fate points to have a dozen inmates. It's very I'm specific. Just gonna pull up the Mythos logos. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, I see. No, I need to have it ready though. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Indubitably, we will need it. Um. So that's the zone. Wayland, you're on the outside of the building, just outside, so we're going to call that as an adjacent zone. Um, Wait, even, further, even further past that circuit, you are in your own separate zone. Um, but he's running the opposite zone. direction, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But we'll all play it through at the same time. And then he's Kit. doing some fucking Iron Man meets Hawkeye shit. It's crazy. <laughs> Kit on the opposite side of the door would be another zone. If you do choose to get inside the fight, but right now you're not on the queue. Wait, did Kit hear me call out for her, or was she already on the other side of the door? Uh, roll perception, Kit. Okay. This is the most amount of zones we've had in a combat, and I got rid of my crossing multiple zones. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was uh, intentional. <laughs> a three? Um, so yeah, just before the door closed, you do hear um, a somewhat familiar voice, although it sounds just slightly augmented. Um, it almost as if... Vocoder. Yeah, it's almost as if somebody is shouting through a mist, like it kind of has a, a slight bit of an echo just behind it. It doesn't like reverberate or anything, it just kind of it sounds like Theo, but as if something's different. She's gonna be so I'm... mad at Theo. <laughs> and also with that three, as it, as you turn and look back through the small window, you catch a glimpse, and the visual and the audio don't quite match from your memory of Theo. And we agreed that he's X Man now, right? <laughs> Yeah. All right, Waylon, you're up first. You're on the outside of the building. What are you doing? Oh, I'm on the outside of the building. I really, uh, is it possible? I know that this isn't uh, D&D or whatever, but am I able to hold my initiative until after uh, Theo goes? Um, what are you waiting on? Are you waiting on a full play at I just, I just want to know. I just want to know if he needs backup. 
In D&D, &D, uh, technically, you can only hold your action, but I'm hoping I can hold my initiative to just, like, go after he acts. Well, I'll let... We'll, we'll play it the same. You can hold your action, because you it's your turn, but you're not doing anything until... Okay, then yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wait, and and right. basically the trigger to like set off my me acting mm -hmm. is uh like Theo getting overwhelmed or like getting attacked. Okay. Simple. All right, then Theo, you're up. Theo's you have, uh, like Naruto hard. running down the hallway, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna roll to see what ability comes out of whatever orifice. Okay. Uh, that's a 90. 90? 90. All right. Again, this table isn't quite... Huh. Um, so as you, you tap into your body flowing with X, um, you kind of feel like your extremities may be able to move independently from the rest of your body. Like, detach? Whoa! Like yeah, the chop yeah. chop I'm shooting both of my arms uh, to try to choke just the two closest guards. I'm just gonna launch my arms forward and I'm gonna try to choke him. Does his does his torso fall inert? No. If he uses um, his legs. It's it's strange. <laughs> I was just watching Undead Un Unluck and basically you're Andy right now. Um Alright, so that's the power, but roll expertise to see how well it goes for you. Okay. Oh great, that's a four. Nice. Hell yeah. Choke them with your detached hands. Man. Wait, we're similar in that way. <laughs> he, fire. he fires off his rocket yeah. hands. Theo is learning to be a superhero from observing Wayland. Aw. Wayland is touched. Wayland blushes. Let's clarify. Theo is probably going to be a super anti-hero, if we're being honest here. <laughs> Except I, ref right. I already said that I refused for Taylor Swift to be our uh, theme song. <laughs> <laughs> That's a All right, so there's three light guard ahead of you. Um, one is male and bigger. Um, one is female and one is Raptoran, strange enough. Oh, I like, can I take oh. a bet? Can I take two of their heads and slam them together to try to cause like a buildup in the hallway? Sure, so you're basically attacking two of them? Yeah, I want to like bring their heads into each other. And I want them all to like trip over each other. Sure. Um, so with, they rolled a one. Nice. So that's two physical stress on two of them. Well, um, which two were you doing? The um, male, female, or Rattarn? I guess it doesn't really matter. Whichever the order of like the two closest, because I'm trying to put a build up so I can just like hurdle over them. All right. I'm just for my for my tracking. I'm just gonna say the male and the female. You bump their heads together. Heard. Uh, okay, Sirkin, you are currently yeah. a block away. Um, did you land on the ground, or are you still flying? No, I'm still maintaining a spectacle. <laughs> All right, so you now see that there are four drones mm -hmm. headed quickly in your direction. The guns are all drawn, and they are ready to fire. Uh, I would like to roll perception to see if, based on their flight patterns, if uh, I can anticipate them crossing and try to get two in one throw. That's my that's my goal. Okay, go for it. Just that open up the wings. All negatives. So, uh, right, uh, two. Yeah. A uh, two? Yes. Um, currently, they are flying like almost in a line straight towards you. All right. Then I'm gonna fire down the barrel with uh, with my blades. Throw one down. Try to see if I can knock any out. Uh, rolling shoot. And that's a zero. Two negatives and two blanks. So as you throw it straight down, um, almost in pairs, they just separate, and the knife just flies right between them, and they are now coming straight towards your direction. Here we go. They don't see it coming from behind. Right, yeah. Uh, the drones then are going to, in like a great formation, they separate, and then they go high and low. 
So now you have almost like two beneath you in a pair and two above you in a pair. Okay. And they're all going to like kind of create as much of a crossfire um, without hitting each other as possible. Yeah. To roll defense. Um, let's see. I'll roll athletics. That is a near a zero. Uh, so one eventually does clip you right in the shoulder. Take a point of physical stress. I oh, freaking thought I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> I unmuted myself because I was afraid I was going to forget that I was muted, and then I burped because I thought I was muted. I wish it was <laughs> Theo, um, with two, the male oh, and the right, female, well, like, are... I, uh, I'm using a stunt. I'm using my, uh, pain is in the mind to convert that physical stress to mental stress. So sure. if you, th the, uh, if they're watching the cameras of the drones, the shot hits me and I don't even flinch. Whoever's driving these drones is gotten smacked. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of some nerd just being like, Ugh. <laughs> I make people uncomfortable any way I can. Yeah, me the most, Austin. <laughs> Is that a pay point that you pay for that? Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, Theo, um, with the male and female light guard, like kind of reeling and pull picking themselves off the ground, the Raptaran in their tall, big state step over and... Um, They've got like these claws at the end of their fingertips, and he's just gonna come s try to swipe you right in the gut. Can I like separate my limbs? <laughs> Can I just like scatter the rest of my body and my as my defense? Well, he's going for your gut. It would still you would still roll for it, but that would be what the flavor is, right? Is that um, what athletics? Is that how this defense works? You can you, you, to do that and roll expertly. Yeah, expertise. Okay, you, you dodge, but your torso is the only thing that dodges. It just jumps okay. back. That's a five. A five. Ding. So describe how you you are using this detachable <laughs> limbs to. A so Theo does in the moment like his hands are just out there floating, waiting to get like re grabbed. He sees the swipe coming and he's like, okay and he's just gonna like detach the rest of his body so it's all in separate locations and so this wife is just gonna go through mist Ugh. um because you rolled so well um i'm gonna give you a style with that so you have a one free aspect to use at your Ooh. disposal um we're gonna say that he kind of missed his footing or lost his footing a little bit tripping over one of the light guards in that swing and so he's kind of off centered we'll call it um, I'm going to, uh, cause that triggers my, uh, action. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just going to use, uh, Miley Cyrus come in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I just don't think I, 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 for what I re remember of the rules, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach. So I'm going to like swing in and leave my hook, uh, like hook detached so that I can reattach it later when we leave. Uh, and I'm just so going to detaching it from your arm yeah so i'm just gonna like i'm okay. just gonna like if you if you need to picture it the walls here i'm gonna like grasp onto the hole i made detach it um so that i can access it again when we have to leave this way uh and then i'm gonna okay. put the rocket fist in and like you know yeah, tough yeah. man style hole. and uh <clears throat> i'm gonna nub it i'm gonna nub it and then uh <laughs> And then I'm gonna t real tough man like uh, enter the other uh, area, but I don't think I could do All right. anything. Um. So the detaching the hook is your action. I'm I'm just assuming it is because I'm asking to do a lot here, so I'm not gonna. Cool. So because you were holding your action until he was attacked, mm. we'll call that the hold. Yeah. So you you are able to travel freely on your turn one zone and so you traveled you detached and now it's actually back to your turn fuck yeah i'm gonna punch this guy in the stupid head hell yeah <laughs> damn you're gonna kill another raptor and that's fucking racist i'm not gonna <laughs> kill him that's for the record time. for the record if they die 
That's their fault. I'm just punching them. That's true. It's not Use my that. fault their heads are made of eggshells. Um, um, that was truly neutral, so that's just a five. Just a five? <laughs> just a five? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when I roll a zero. Damn. I will never feel um, bad about my connection rolls with this fucker. <laughs> That's how the game works. You do the connection thing, and I punch. Mine's just yeah. more simple for the DM. <laughs> Mine builds lore. <laughs> right, so that, as you enter, you see he just took a swipe and missed, and while he's still, like, just can I punch his through <laughs> his body? <laughs> can, he, like, can he be, like, can he be, like, swinging uh, and then Theo breaks apart, and then I just like, and I'm just, you just see my silhouette emerge from the sh of Theo as I punch him right in the face. Um, I will I use a fate point for this to happen, please. <laughs> um, because of the act ability was attachable limbs, um, let's just color it slightly different that you, like you said, his, his head is almost like a whole wisp now. Um, so you punch almost use his head as a smoke screen itself. Okay, sure. Hell yeah. So his his torso doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's just the torso. Well, but when the legs go out, the body drops, so then yeah. the head's perfect sight for you to punch through. Yeah. Nice. Love there you go. All right, so that hit him squarely in the jaw, and you see one, like, sharp tooth kind of spit out um, in the other direction. That was a, a three stress that he just took. Damn. Almost uh, Theo, back to you. Uh, do I have to roll to get my body back together? I was wondering if you rolled for a new wild shape if your limbs are just off and now you're an amputee. <laughs> <laughs> that is a dangerous power to just be reckless with. No, you find that they are somehow on their own, like, drawn back to your body. Okay, so they're probably only off for a couple of seconds before it just yeah. comes back. One point. Then, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you got them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Theo's just gonna take off through the door after Kid. Hell yeah. Um, go ahead and roll athletics to see how well you get. Because, like I said, it's a narrow hallway and there's three bodies, even if they're on the ground. That you That's a get. one. <laughs> Do you got this? Uh huh. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> All right. With the one, unfortunately, you you go to like jump through, but. This new my leg wasn't one hundred percent attached yet. As I tried to yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh shit! I oh, love so I love the idea too that like it's still standing. So like <laughs> uh, Theo and all three of his limbs, but one fall over, and then there's just a leg like kind of just like looking around, like it doesn't know that it <laughs> it was its fault. So with that, now in this narrow hallway, it's um. Wayland, the Raptoran, you've now yeah. stumbled between, so it's Theo and then those two other light guard. Copy. Do I still have an action then? Um, done anything yet, right? That, yeah, no, you'll have an action. Go ahead, take your action. That was more of a movement, but you just failed in moving the zones. Okay. That, yeah. uh, so, the... sir, can he overcome? Yeah, that's an that's an option of an action. You can overcome, create an advantage, attack, and defend as a free action. Uh, I think I'll create an advantage for uh, Waylon to take out the Reptaran. How do you create an advantage? Uh, I'm just going to keep fucking with this expertise until <laughs> I like the wildness that comes from this. Oh, that's a Did 90 it. again. Okay. A 90 again? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, his, so now his torso can <laughs> detach into segments. Yeah. Right, so then how do you use detachable limbs? Uh, as I'm falling, I'm just gonna like, kind of roll into it. I'm gonna shoot my arms out to grab the Raptoran's ankles. Nice. So it's like the like the stool trick, but really, I'm just grabbing his ankles so he can't move. Hey, do you want me to push him? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna change um, that one free stunt or not stunt aspect that was mm -hmm. he had like loose footing to uh -huh. um, an aspect that both you and Wayland can use, which is okay. he's grappled. Cool. Cool. So feel free oh my to tap god. into that while you still grapple. Oh my god. The last thing I need is a natural plus seven to hit <laughs> for the damage. That's the last thing I need. You are going to kill right. the Raptor. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to do, like, minimum seven. 
Griffin. He needs to roll a four. He needs to roll a four just to take freaking three strikes. <laughs> Shurkin, you now have two drones above, two below. What do you would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to um, move up to be with level with the the two, and I'm going to try to uh, arcing swing and and hit the two above. On Sir, can give such work. evil Magneto vibes. <laughs> okay, that is a three. All right, um, you kind of s circle that blades through. And one manages to just move out of the way, but one was a little too too slow, and oh, yeah. you cut right through some of its circuitry, and the bottom kind of falls away, and the top just like kind of spirals out and crashes into a nearby building. Cut. So now you're down to three. Uh, the drones are God. Um, they're going to come in to try to like sweep a leg and use some of the propellers to kind of cut up some of your legs. Go ahead and roll. How, How many like legs does this guy have? He's got some. Got some. Well, some I only legs. have a couple. I think <laughs> he's bears back at my hideout. Uh, that is a... What is my athletics? Hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, three. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, it's almost like now you can predict their movements. It's like in a boss fight where it's got like three things that it cycles through. <laughs> so, it, they rolled an absolute zero. So, I'm going to give you an, a, a style st aspect. Perfect. Um, it's almost like you can foresee their movements. Perfect. Pattern recognition. Yeah. <laughs> That, that that tracks with the autism that you have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now the light guard. Um, Theo, the two that you had bonked heads, now you are directly in front of them, and they are both looking at you with, like, Confusion. they were about to get off the clock, and now they're pissed. But So they are coming at you. Um, they're going to attempt to both leap on you and grapple you. Do I recognize them? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Next thing, come on. Does he move? Six. Marshall. No. <laughs> no. He, I think um. I previously stated that neither of these were Marshall. <laughs> Just. Um. Yes, you you recognize them. Um. One is Officer Seafried. Wait, which one is that? Is that the one that hangs um, the me? Male. No, the male is Officer Seafried. These are two. Pre uh, you haven't previously run into these two. Oh, okay. Um, and the, the female is Officer Sidhu. S-I-D-H-U. Seafried and Sidhu? Are they partners? Better yet, are they roommates? <laughs> um, you would... <laughs> I like that it was better yet. Are they roommates? It's for the meme. Sorry that, know that sorry that I'm so young and with it. <laughs> you would know them um, to be officers that they don't typically go above and beyond to, let's call it, protect and serve. They enjoy flouting their authority, um, and they have a little bit of an anger issue together. They've been working so long together as partners that uh, now they're just known as, like, angry cops they sound like roommates <laughs> yeah um so what'd you roll oh my Four. god are they known as the c team <laughs> six um they, <laughs> they, jumped, they attempted to jump on you and restrain you like down to the floor okay so this would be expertise again to try to separate limbs again since that's the power currently in usage um, depends if you want to just try to move, if you want to try to use your X, if you try to use well, your I've X. I've already got the arms disconnected, so I just kind of assumed at this moment in time that would be still the power defense sure. aspect. Okay. So expertise makes that a four. <laughs> nice. So as they go to, like, jump on your torso, um, they both go for an arm, but then those arms detach <laughs> from your body. Cool. 
Yeah, and so then they, they both grasp at absolutely nothing. My, I want my um, head to pop off and come between them. I told both of you to stop being so angry. <laughs> but, but at this point, it's just a black willowy wisp speaking to them. Yeah, exactly. I Wayland, how recognizable you are to people. Ugh. All right, you know? I said, hear me out, hear me out. Okay. I pull the legs out and you uppercut. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> the Raptaran is coming. Oh, forward. Wayland is getting attacked. Yes. Copy. Um. So now he is grappled by the ankles, but he's still going to come like straight for your eyes. Um. <laughs> that's so rude. Aim for the chest, please. <laughs> That's so aggressive. Why the Captain Hook logo is there? Because it's bulletproof. Yeah. And it's I hear, I hear that pitch. really, I hear that really stings. Um, okay, so uh, that's a truly neutral, which uh, is a five, which we established. <laughs> so did he hit me? He sure didn't. No, your okay. eyeballs are also bulletproof. So they ricochet. Yep. I want to use this though, because I'm like clearly a way better fighter than this guy. He's gonna, he's like, like trying to punch me in the face, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm just yeah. gonna headbutt his fist. <laughs> Hell yeah! And just take the punch. There's a one piece ass fight. Yeah. I'm just gonna headbutt. I'm gonna headbutt his fist. So like he's like, before he's able to like, you know what I mean? Push. I like stop him here, and and just like, like ruin ruin the. Uh, momentum of his fist and I get in close and it's my turn now, right? I don't know if Buggy and Luffy ever fight side by side, but if it's not in this, I don't want it. Uh, they do. Spoiler. Take a quick pause. Uh, Kit, you are on the opposite Warm side of the up. door and you are being led down in a quick haste. At this point, the entire Citadel is doused in red flashing lights. Um, you hear on their walkie-talkies uh, Building under attack. Get this entire place on lockdown. Expedite the exiled prisoner. Oh, he's going to be so mad at me. <laughs> and you are being... You're going to trip? I'm going to fake trip. All right, roll deception. It is... Okay. <laughs> Can I roll crafts? <laughs> Where's my deception? Okay. Okay. Come on... Orin's gonna be pissed too, guys. Y'all, I gotta send you uh, the sheet that I made for this because you guys keep saying where's my blank. I got, I got everything right here. Yeah, that's much me. better. I got did you make that? I did. <clears throat> nice. Well, I mean, I took the the stuff that was already provided and I just like made it better. I bent it to my will. Um, the true American say, way. I almost said point. bend me to your will, and that's not. <laughs> I meant like. To send me. Hang on, guys. The... You're speaking over Kit. It's her turn. <laughs> um, um, what do you? Would you roll? A negative one. I'm. That's uh... a real good trip. <laughs> yeah, oh, Fuck. And none of my concepts work. Um. Okay, we're just gonna go with a negative one then. So you go to trip, and at first. You see on in the all light guard officer on your right, like some legitimate concern, but then like gives you an eye and yanks you harder, and you are being almost like drug further down the hallway. Um, as you're following these hallways, you start to recognize a little some of it. Uh, the you're, I think, if I remember correctly, um, you open into an area where the walls then are once again like hospital white. And you would recognize it as the area that you were just led to um, maybe an hour prior when you were getting orientation for exile. Such a weird way to phrase that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and so you, you burst back into that laboratory and that same doctor uh, that doesn't like you, um, she's fidgeting with your kind of exoskeleton suit that they were going to put you in. I don't know. And the, like our officer says... We need to go now. Yeah, but it's it's not ready. I need some finishing touches. You said I had it until morning. Doesn't matter. She's de good for dead anyway. Get her in it. Oh, I'm suing the shit out of these oh, guys. Shit. So they're attempting to get you into the suit. Would you like to do anything? Uh, do I have an opportunity to take the X uh, between my boobs? How would you? Like, 
One second. You guys are, you guys are being so rough with me. One second. <laughs> like that? We're gonna unsee that. Is that and would that be how you did it? <laughs> hey, Alec, make sure you clip that. <laughs> That's not the cover to this week's episode. I riot. <laughs> Brit, that wasn't How supposed can... to be the thing that stopped you in your tracks. It was just a little joke. <laughs> it's it was, me. It was real good mime. It was me, though, uh, that did it. You didn't um, do it. I'm going to do it exactly how Sarkin does it and take it to the eyes. Yeah! Um. So currently you've got two light guards. So I'm, I'm asking, how do you try oh, to um... get this X? You've got two on each side, one on each arm. Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> you got to put me in this suit. I need to piss. Yeah, that's fair. Unless you want me pissing on your shoes, let me go to the bathroom at least first. Um, roll. <laughs> just pull out a chamber pot. What do you want me to roll? Deception again. Deception? Okay. You gotta do the pee pee dance. <laughs> Please, 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 please. Ah! Yeah, there's so anything you. you can do to reroll deception checks. Not really. Because uh, I don't even think revenge is a double edged sword. It's... Pee on them. Kit's not a liar. Like, that's not a Kit's. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. Um. So now they're kind of on to you, and they said, uh uh, not this time, sweetheart. This building's in lockdown, and we're out of here. <laughs> I'm the pee on the floor. Roll for piss. Gonna... Roll for uh, liters of piss or will, gallons will, or whatever will, you guys will do. Power. Is it ounces of piss? W w how much would you measure in piss <laughs> in America? It would probably be ounces, it would right? Be ounces. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, wouldn't do, you wouldn't do a gallon of piss. No, uh, we measure Not by a... time of stream. That's why Tom Hanks is a national treasure. Kit, roll. <laughs> I'll let you choose either will to make yourself okay. pee. Or physique, or resources. Do you have any pee in you? Resources. I've, I've got resources. I've, I've got will. Okay. There you go. And that's a six, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. way. Okay. No way. <laughs> this was so. Circuit is gonna be so goddamn impressed. So many guys slip on this. I'm just gonna stare them in the eyes as I do oh. it too. My God! I'm just Remind gonna full on stare them. I, you are in your uh, basically prison fatigues. You're like prison pursuit. Fuck in this. Um, I'm Garen anyway. And so this dark spot at your crotch and forms and is like only cool people, people like, pee their pants. Right, Big Daddy. Um, they're like whoa, and they both let go of you. Um. <laughs> Well, oh, shit. No, just. Yes. I told you I had to take a piss. Well, now you're going to have to sit in it. <laughs> um, um, and they. I'm... But they yeah. let your arms go. Yes. They did um, let your arms go. I'm, I would like to roll for it. Is pissing your pants in action? <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll for initiative. Uh, roll perception. <laughs> Where is my perception? I have a plus three. Fuck yes. Okay. Oh, it's a two. A two is still good, I think. I, I rolled a three and I've been going two through. Two is so. fair. Not, at least it's not negative. Right. It was a two? Yeah. <sighs> All right. Dear God. And by the way, I rubbed my breasts together and everybody freaked <laughs> out. Kit literally pissed herself. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't stand yeah. up and do it on camera. I sure not. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Fair but um, peeing on the right, floor gets maybe a PG rating. Rubbing your breast gets maybe PG thirteen and R rating. So. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I freaking. I'm wearing a T-shirt. I come on. What? <laughs> Moving on, Kit. Sorry. You go first. All right. Sorry. All right. Sorry. Um. <laughs> is there pee on the floor? Of course, of course there is. is. It's an aspect With a six, that room. was so much. Um, there is a, a puddle on the floor. Wet floor. Okay. Um, uh, 
In their response to like, Ugh, I'm gonna trip one of them. Okay, go ahead and trip. Sure. Okay. Are you using um, the puddle as an aspect? <laughs> you may. <laughs> Use it. Yeah. Uh, I would like to invoke yeah. slippery when wet. <laughs> uh. All right. Changing um, the aspect. Well, to the fight then. Yeah. And then you get a plus two as well. Or a re-roll. Shrook. So it would be a four. Pretty good. It's All right, as good nice. As when so you go to sweep the <laughs> leg. Hold on, I need a separate. Oh wait, no, I'll use this. Do you have, do you have like little minis that you use, and one of them is a little yellow circle? No, I use index cards. But he has a highlighter. Do you have a little yellow index card? No. Uh... Yellow ink only. Be so, so hard who to are read. you trying to trick? Is it one of the two officers or the scientist? Uh, one of the two officers. And you rolled a three? Four. I rolled a two, but plus two is a four. Oh, dang. Okay. So, describe how you knock one of these guys out with tripping them. Hell yeah! As they go to jump away, I stick my foot out, so the one, like, trips into the other one. So I'm like, like, they jump back as I'm standing there like this, just, like, power stance, peeing myself. And as they jump back, like, and go, whoa, I put my foot behind him, and he backs mm -hmm. into it. And, and topples so into whatever he topples into. One of the officers um, goes and he slips on the puddle on the middle of the floor, and in doing so, falls and whacks his head on the <laughs> countertop. Oh, damn. Um, you see a, a small trickle of blood as he's lying on the floor, but he's knocked out cold at the moment. Damn. Is he doing the Harvey Dent in the gasoline thing? No. <laughs> no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second. Fish out of water. <laughs> yeah. <In> the urine. <laughs> um, judges, I would like to point out that I said the gross thing, but I didn't mime it that time. <laughs> this is what you have to watch on YouTube. I would like to stop recording early in the morning because I prefer this, Austin. <laughs> oh my God. He's been subdued this whole time. We had no idea. <laughs> you haven't even seen my final form. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come back to you. Uh, Wayland, your turn. Wayland, uh, the guy in front of me is out cold, right? Or is that Reptar still rocking? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I was about to knock him out. He yeah, took three he stress, to but, he was still... but he was still rocking. So that is a... Oh, that's really bad. Um... Oh, but I've got the aspect, right? Yep, plus one from the ankles. Grapple. Okay. If you, but make sure that you you say that you when you're invoking it. Yes, I'm going to invoke. I'm going to invoke uh, that he is grappled, and that mm -hmm. will be a uh, a four. This is nice. Uh Oof. All right. What are you doing to him? He's taking two physical stress. Okay. Nice. nice. He's got five physicals. That's great. Anyway, um, I just freaking uppercut him. I try to lay him out. So you knock him in, and once again, some more sharp teeth kind of fly out of his face, and he even gets a little air and knocks his head on the ceiling <laughs> above. Hell yeah! They got hollow bones. <laughs> nice. He's a little lighter than you, man. Is he a conscious still? He's still conscious. And point of order, they still have three physical stress. But if you if they take three physical stress, they don't check off all three boxes. They take the third slot. If they take yeah. two and second, they so take now the he's two. got a, so he's got a mild consequence now. No, he, he still has one more than it's two. Damage. How it worked out? Oh, he's had three empty, one, two, and three empty. This is how combat works. Oh. So if he takes the two slot, that's checked. And then once he took a three, so that's checked. He's got one. He could still take a physical stress if the rolls worked out, but if he has to take a two or a three again, then it would go to a consequence. Oh, I've been it doing it wrong for me. Too. I thought we were way more fragile. Oh. 
Good to know. I thought when yeah. you got three, you checked off one, two, and three. No, just that oh, third yeah. one. Oh, okay, shit. Okay, well, I've not been knocked out yet, but I've been a lot less close than I thought I was. Okay. God, and you've never been close, so that's good to know. <laughs> uh, Where's my list? Lost my list. Theo! You are currently on the ground. Yeah, recognizing that these two are arguably dirty cops and with the anger that Theo is feeling for anybody on the payroll right now, uh, Theo is just going to explode with anger. Uh, ideally, there's going to be some explosion-based shit. But we're going to see what happens. Ideally, <laughs> ideally you yes, explode yes, them. Yes, What's yes. a 69 give us? Oh, <laughs> it gives you big old titties? <laughs> Do it again, Austin. Just a guess. What would you do Just with them, Austin? If you had... what, what if I had them? Yeah, well, I, I'd take them to the penthouse and freak it. <laughs> Theo, um, as you uh, once again tap into your abilities, um, your limbs are drawn back to your body and reattach, and no longer do you feel like they can move independently, but. Somewhere at the core, you you kind of feel a bit of, I see it, almost a nuclear sense of heat. No way! No way did he call that. Well, we'll see what happens. You have the powers of radiation. Oh shit! What? God, I'm Geiger. Oh shit! Okay, that was a very niche pull. I don't think anybody's gonna get. Um, hey, Geiger counter measures radiation. Oh, I was referencing the comic character, but yeah. Um, oh, damn. Clever name. Uh, I think, again, I just want to take... I want to channel as much radiation into my hands as possible. I just, like... I, I'm going to pull a, I'm going to pull a circuit here and go, like, the whole ghost rider out. I'm going to grab their face and stare into their souls as I... They, they're going to take all me. of Theo's wrath right now. Which one? Uh, probably the guy first. Two and how do you and one beat the raptor in behind that's now kind of slumped on the floor after hitting their head on the ceiling? Yeah. All right, so you're going for the guy? Yeah. Roll expertise. That's a five. <laughs> yeah. That was a three plus two. <laughs> okay. So you grab his face and like bore into his eyes with the heat, the nuclear heat that's behind it, and he starts to scream, and his eyes begin to almost burble, like gurgle, and they roll in the back of his head and almost melt into his skull. I uh, I, I see that and I go, we're the good guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> and with that, he was going to squat down to the next one. Would you like to leave? Is that a, a real question? To the other one, yeah. Um, roll either intimidation or charisma. Charisma, definitely. Would you like to leave? That's another five. Mm, they're like that's what I chose for the DC. So, um. So the female, like, turns over her partner and sees that now he's like now choking on his own blood and his eyes are just holes in his skull um, seeping a little bit out of his orifices. And she like quickly backs up um, and look, takes one more look at you and just kind of reaches behind to the door to try to scurry her way out. She's trying to run away. And uh, Waylon, you would see that the more that Theo uses these powers, uh, that like purpley, like wispiness, uh, is deepening in color and spreading further into his limbs. Gulp. Uh, well, Sirkin. Yes. You've got three drones on you. I sure. What are you doing? Do. All right. Here's what I'm going to attempt. Uh, I might, if I have to spend a fate point on this, I well, I probably should spend a fate point on this actually, um, to make a some sort of like billboard, like some sort of sign nearby. To the... 
I'm, I, so I've recognized their patterns. What I want to do is I want to use the knives to take out the billboard to fall and see if I can take out multiple. So invoking the plus two from the pattern recognition. If I can't do that, if uh, failing a sign, uh, you know, maybe a, 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 like a, if this place has like gargoyle statues or something, anything in the um, area sure, let's say there, um, again, you're a block away from the Citadel. Sure, I'll give you a billboard. No fate yeah. point needed. Sweet. Um, so go ahead and roll shoot, and you add the plus two, or re-roll. I will add the plus two, making it a four. Nice. Okay. So you've got one kind of above you, two a little bit lower. Um, and you throw this knife a little outside of their view and it hooks around and uh, yeah, just catches like a bolt or something. This sign may have been already a little bit loose. It's been dilapidated, not taken care of. It's rusty and you just catch one side brace and it's too much strain on the other brace and it's just kind of swings around. It doesn't like fall <laughs> Sweet. And it knocks that third one that's above you, or the one that was above you, clean into just a pile of smoke and circuitry. Perfect. And this is this collateral damage is happening over the part that's evacuated, right? This is outside the evacuation zone, technically. There's no X um fog here in this area. Shit. Because he but it's like one street over. It probably still people evacuating that. Um, would you like to roll perception to find out? No. <laughs> probably bet. Probably best for Austin that he doesn't. <laughs> All right. I have, I have too much to focus on right now. I still have two drones. Yeah. Um, the two drones below you, they angle their guns up towards your feet and fire straight into the sky. There we go. Athletics to dodge. That is really good. That's a four. Yeah, you are really getting good at this whole skin flight suit. And <laughs> you manage to just, like, weave in between anime style um, as their all of their little lasers completely miss. I look like a marionette puppet just being yanked in direction. <laughs> That's frightening. That's super yeah. anime. <laughs> Shit. Now you've got one light guard officer that's awake, and the scientist is still hurriedly trying to finish whatever work she was working on your suit. Would you like to? Is she paying attention to what happened to the other guard? Um, she's kind of doing one of these, like uh, fidgeting while like looking over her shoulder and trying to keep track of what's going on so that she's not taken unawares. But she's not coming at you. Okay, so uh, what's the other guy doing? Is he coming after me, or is he just staring at his buddy? Um, they look like they they would be ready to attack at their next opportunity. At their earliest convenience. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works for you, no worries if not. I hope this fist finds you well. <laughs> um, size wise, how much bigger is this guy than me? Um, you're about how tall are you? Five seven. So he's probably got a, another head height above you. Um, you took out the smaller one. They are a little slighter about your size. Um, which is why they more easily slipped and broke his head. I bet you his groin is kind of like in the same spot as all guys. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Where I keep um, mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna take a a kick to the nuts, I guess. Not the shot the... <laughs> Keeping it anime. Go ahead and roll fight. Is there an aspect that all men have? So I'm gonna <laughs> roll with try me bitch. Yeah, nice. let's go. That's cool. That's cool. Because you go to kick and five. Yeah, let's go. I love that. Nuts are hurting. 
I love the idea that you like go to kick, uh, and he like dodges out of the way, and you, like you, so like you're going to miss, and then you somehow just like pull like a karate move and you heal him. <laughs> you like de you embed your heel into his groin. What's it like playing with a table full of DMs? Well, thanks for tuning in. This is Cloudscape. <laughs> I don't have to describe it a single thing. They do it for me. Mm. Um. So yeah, you you do that first kind of attack. And it's looking like it's not going to work, and you do kind of a little switch hinge kick um, right into the You know the, the name, though. I don't know that. It's more of a dance move. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, And so, yeah, squarely, and, and you see his eyes kind of cross enough, um, and he kind of slumps down with a five. I'll give you that he's now uh, fallen to his knees, hands instinctively going to cover whatever's left of his net sack. Right. I'm going to take the opportunity of hit them being, all three of them being incapacitated of some sort, and we're taking the X straight to the eyes. Yeah! Because you rolled a five, I will give you that extra action. Okay. In, in lieu of a, a style, like an aspect. Okay. Um, So you, you pull up that eyedropper and you put in your eyes, and strangely enough, even though throughout this campaign, Kit's never done X, and you've been staunchly against it. Um, I've never taken I, X willingly. Willingly. Um, I'm Knowingly. gonna give you a fate point back, because I'm going to compel your um, your aspect, which is against X as a human helper. So you're directly going against one of your aspects. So I'm giving you a fate point back. You're back up to five. Yeah. Um, and strangely enough, the feeling that's now coursing, beginning from behind your eye, and it courses through your fingertips almost, and then back up to your brain. Even though, strangely enough, it's it's a familiar feeling, but it's not one you're used to, and it's really not one that you enjoy. And you get this splitting headache, this like raging pain that almost doubles you over. Um, so you now have X coursing through your veins, but you are now in a similar physical position, almost like fetal position on the floor as this high pitch screech, similar to what Sirkin had experienced is ringing in your ears and your eyes are almost flaming with this headache just behind them. You'll get used to it. <laughs> um, the light guard, or actually let's go to the scientist. Um, she's going to see this op open opportunity and being the only one not incapacitated is going to like rush over to the cabinet and she's she pulls out a syringe and she's going to uh, launch towards any sort of vein that she can find of me or her uh, for you She's coming at towards you. Oh my god, her. that'd be crazy if, though if she was Bane. <laughs> <laughs> um, so roll athletics, or roll whatever you'd like to try to get away. Just describe how you do it. Um, okay. But it's going to come with some difficulty. Okay. Um, I think athletics is probably okay. Okay. Sure. It's a one. Try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. Try me, bitch. You got it back. Try me, bitch. Yeah, I'm. I'm either gonna pull try me, bitch, or revenge is a double-edged sword because she, you know what I mean. Her, I hurt her sister, but in the end, mm -hmm. it's the gold's fault. So I like it. I'm Let's gonna... use that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you adding plus two, or you rerolling? Oh, we're just gonna add plus two. Because I'm not okay. Trusted. Dice, gods. <laughs> dice gods and I are fighting. Good roll because I essentially used your headache as an aspect and added a plus two to her one, which had a three. So it just both brought you up to a three. Okay. Um. So she goes towards your neck and, um, she just doesn't quite. She like gets it into your system, like into your body, but. You can tell that it doesn't find purchase with it in an actual vein. 
Um, so it, it, you feel this sharp jab in like your thigh, but um, she like, of course is a plunger, but you don't really feel anything. You're not 100% sure what whatever was in the vial was meant to do, but it doesn't seem like it's taking any effect immediately. Okay. Uh, Wayland, back to you. Um, as, uh, as the Raptarian guy is, like, getting up, uh, I just kind of want to, like, like, earnestly look him in the eyes and say, my fights don't usually last this long. So, <laughs> I think you should be proud of that. Uh, and this is the only time that I'm going to do this. Uh, what's your name? I don't want, I want to remember it. Um, roll a, either Intimidate or Charisma, just to see if he even answer okay. you okay uh that is a plus one and my new charisma score makes that a four Woo! you rizzy bitch he, he kind of looks up at you from the ground as he's like on all fours and he just like turns his head up and with this like almost elongated beak-like nose um he just looks up at you and his eye is is swollen and his mouth is now missing some teeth and he almost with fear in his eyes it's young I have to say young alright you've done well and good night <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah um, I rolled three negatives which isn't giving me my good night that I want so I'm gonna invoke the closer yeah nice <laughs> And that's another three negatives. <laughs> um, so this guy was meant to live, I guess. So what's your total? Uh, so my total is... Uh, I can do this. Two. And as you come to... Are you, like, punching down on him? Yeah, I'm just gonna put him as out. As you go to swing, like, this fear almost turns into a smirk. And he just, like, turns his body and you whiff right past him. I, uh, match the smirk. Uh, Whelan's <laughs> enjoying himself. You should Theo! Give him some knuckles. Give him some, some cigarettes as an audition. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, if, uh, if this uh, straight and narrow path ever gets you down... <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up. Uh, Theo's already got confirmation that Waylon can hold his own, and he's on the fucking ground getting his ass beat. Uh, so Theo's just gonna take off after Kit. Okay, so you're going to the next zone. Yep. Um, she was led down a few different hallways, so roll a perception to see if you can make out where she might be. Okay. Three. All right, pretty good. Um, while it's not 100% clear, you do hear some, like, clattering um, and some, like, squeaking of shoes on tile just down the hallway to your left. Oh, that's the way Theo goes. Um, so we'll say on this turn, you, you make some good distance and you come to a door. Um, once again, you go down a, a, another hallway where the walls change from, like, almost Citadel interior uh, prison cement walls to the white hospital like walls okay. um, and you come up on the door and you see Kit like just rolled out of the way you see a scientist um, kind of starting to bring herself to her feet with an empty syringe in her hand one light guard knocked out next to uh, a counter and another light guard the smell of is filling my nostrils exactly <laughs> I need more water. Kit! <laughs> or, I'm sorry, Sirkin! She's been in prison. Um, we're, we're gonna take out another drone. Let's go. Uh, that is a plus two. How are you doing it? Uh, I'm there. I'm above, so I'm just throwing, uh, throwing it out and around and then yanking it up and through from behind. Um, hello. <laughs> Are we doing phrasing? <laughs> what do you mean? Not. What do you mean? Awesome. 
Just like you started you to recognize mean? their pattern, it's almost like they are starting to recognize yours. Um, ooh. And, and you, you know, draw that other knife back towards your position, and they kind of spiral around it, and it just narrowly misses them. Cool. All right. Um, but in doing so, one does kind of reveal uh, a weak point or a, a point in the back that you would perceive as, a, oh, maybe an opening. Mm -hmm. So because you both tied, so I'll give you as the attacker um, okay. the, the advantage. I of, see a bit of a blind spot. Yeah, called blind spot. Defensive blind spot. <laughs> Perfect. All right. The drones are now going to wheel around. Holy shit. And they are going to open fire once more. They're drawing a little closer now. That is a three. So now as they're like getting closer and, and just beginning to flank you, they, they on purpose try to change the pattern that they had previously done. Second and phase. We fuck. Yeah. And one kind of shoots at you and you narrowly miss, but that second one you weren't quite looking for and it clips you right in the leg. Take a point of, or take one physical stress unless that is already taken. Got it. I do have one that puts me, so that fills my two spot for physical stress. Correct. My physical stress is full. <laughs> um, in the lab with Kit and, or actually no, the uh, Raptoran is in front of you, Wayland. Yep. And now, after you you just whiffed, and, and now you're back down closer to his plane, um, he's going to attend to, like, pin you to the wall and slam you in the face. Uh, okay, bet. Uh, okay. That's a six. Shit! <laughs> Alright, so he makes this attempt, and he, like, Pins you against the wall and goes for a punch. Describe how you not only avoid it. this, but turn this back around on him. Uh, okay, I catch it and I pull like down so like his shoulder uh, drops and then I'll like elbow him in the head. Okay, I'm going to give you, because he rolled a three um, and you had a six, so I'll give you a free attack on this. Oh shit, do I roll? Sure. Uh, uh, cash money. Uh, that's another six. Where is he? Oof. Unconscious is where he is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's only got that nighty night. And you elbow him just in that temple. And it's just, strangely, you punch so many people in the head. Um, that <laughs> I kind really of didn't recognize the, uh, the physical resistance but this gives just a little more than it should um, oh did i fucking kill another guy <laughs> and his eyes immediately loll back in the in his head and he drops to the floor okay i put him in uh the like sos position so he doesn't like choke on his tongue or whatever because i really don't want to kill any more people i what like roll, position i roll him on the side uh, so oh yeah that's cool so i didn't know that so he doesn't choke on nothing uh, it's what happens if, like, your friend ever, like, blacks out from drinking. You're supposed to put them on their side so they don't. Mm -hmm. Asphyxiate. Um, the more you know, kids at home. Uh, is it my turn now? Now it's your turn. Okay, sweet. Um, then I guess I'm just going to follow... Yeah, I'll follow Theo's lead, I guess, down the hallway. He's mm -hmm. still in the hallway, right? Um, yeah, if you kind of go down a hallway, you would kind of look around and you would see Theo standing outside of a room looking in. Um, I guess I'll just be like, is she there? We have to go. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, I think I, something's wrong. Are you only moving during this turn? Or are you taking any action? Yeah, I, get, I can like dash, right? Which means I can move two yep. phases. So, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do that. I don't know if that gets me in the room or just in the hallway where Theo is, but... I'll give it to you in the room. Okay, sweet. Um, and we're not doing phrasing, right? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Goals end. 
Yeah, sweet. So I'll I'll get right in there, and I'm just yeah, going to. Will. Damn it! <laughs> I enter the room, and I look down at the lady, uh, and I just want to like intimidate her straightly. Like I, I like uh like I don't want to like say anything. I just want to give her that like angry dad, you know, look when like you're at the dinner table and you're chewing with your mouth full, uh, full of food, and you can't be like openly reprimanded. So he just kind of like looks at you and puts the fear of God in you. You know what I mean? That's what I'm doing. Okay. I'll say for now, you enter the room with that kind of energy, but because you double dashed. Yeah. Um, and my, have to be my, right. my cloak, my cloak or my, uh, whatever it's called, uh, uh, duster like flows behind me by the speed of me entering the room. <laughs> <laughs> Theo. Uh, so Kit standing, the doctor, has is away from kit or like towering over kit um basically you saw them both kit and the doctor like starting to pull themselves to their feet they just were rolling around on the floor a moment ago and then you see the remaining male light guard um starting to rise and just like <sighs> <sighs> breathe through Theo's gonna pain. hit that light guard you're gonna punch him punch him just square in the jaw okay roll fight Oh, that's a four. Yeah. Two plus two. I don't think you've rolled a single negative this whole uh, session. Yeah, but having you fight and fair, fair now is negatives. pretty great. <laughs> so he's going to take two points of physical stress um, because he was like with rage in his eyes focused on Kit and he wasn't <laughs> ready for this slug just straight into the jaw. Um, so it does like knock him towards the exoskeleton suit that's on one side of the room that was like hanging on kind of a a, a cybernetic dress form essentially would you like to do anything else uh and then would probably just go help kit stand up and then probably start pulling her towards the door all right sirkin all right let's fight a drone got two left i'm gonna go for a little roll shoot oh my god i just Threw my dice across the room. One second. I'm a professional. I can't remember. Uh, the, the were we talking the the drones? Do they talk like this, or is it just like a guy's voice? I can't remember. <laughs> it's they, a three. they kind of speak for themselves and have like a few basically voice lines. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when, when it's a three, them. and I'm gonna invoke that blind spot that I noticed. <laughs> Uh, to basically correct the my last attempt, going to do the exact same thing, but now anticipating their reaction, catch them off guard. This is very JoJo's. If we're talking about specific anime, you are? no jo- jo- bizarre adventure. <laughs> Never mind. You all right, were, how do you, you attack? You pulled all of the gas out of my tank. <laughs> uh, so yes, yeah, so it'd be a five total. So how do you attack? Um, oh, just the same way. Um, going up and over and trying to retract the blade so it comes back through the blind spot. And And being a blind spot, it did not see it coming. And you like summon the blade back towards the hilt of your other blade. And you just, in a small explosion, see the drone be eviscerated as that blade comes right back to you. So now you've got one left. One left. Um... And so the one is, you hear that voice line, cease and desist, and you will be no longer harmed. And it's going to open fire on you. <laughs> Dude, but I'm ceasing and desisting right now. That it's a three. A whiff. It's almost like it's kind of hilted. It's taking some some beats along the way as running into other drones and... I'm um, being like just nicked with your knife enough that it's like taking these shots and it just like they span either side of you and you you remain still. <laughs> I see. see. Wow, it worked. It... Promised and delivered. In the lab, that light guard that you just punched straight in the face, Theo, is now gonna like shake it off, look straight at you. Um, he's gonna pull out his light guard. Uh, firearm and aim it 
just towards you. Take a shot. Okay. Mm, I think I just gotta roll athletics to try to dodge here. Oh okay. fuck! Wait, could you could you radioactive man like dissolve the bullet on impact? Sorry, you've already. Can I, Dad? <laughs> if you'd like to take that same roll and just apply it to expertise, great, because that makes it a zero instead of a negative. <laughs> 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 Um, he, he takes a shot and you try to expand that radioactive energy beyond your body. Um, it somehow still finds purchase in your shoulder, but then it's almost like you take no damage. Oh, like you cauterize the wound or Ooh. something like that, or like you melt yeah. the bullet so there's no shrapnel in you. Yeah, exactly. It hits you, what is, but it doesn't what is the radioactive, uh, act uh, activity or whatever. What does that smell like? Like, do you do you reek right now? Probably not as bad as piss on the floor. Mm. It smells like radioactive. Combined, though, it's probably there. not great. It smells. I mean, if you were really going to go Chernobyl here. right now, um, it wouldn't. I don't think you would smell the radiation. You. That's why you need the Geiger counter normally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Wayland. Wayland uh, is relieved that it's scentless. <laughs> The, the doctor, the scientist in the room, Kit, is going to grab towards your feet and attempt to pull you towards the exoskeleton. Well, gotta give a, a up for her conviction. Right. She's gonna regret that. How do you defend? I'm really, am I, um... <laughs> Alright. You could roll athletics to try to get away. You could do something else if you can justify it. Oh, I... I... The will to get away? I don't know. <laughs> if there is a will, you get away. Um, uh... um... She's pulling me towards... Um... Can I notice anything with my ex um go ahead and roll expertise <laughs> what is expertise uh if you it's it's a stat so if you don't have any points in it it's just a plus zero this is okay then it's, a it's one that we added specifically for this campaign it's not normally part of fake war okay plus then zero I'm... then i'm just gonna roll fights Okay. Plus one is better than... And that's a five. Nice! Five? Oh. <laughs> All pluses. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so she goes and she... As you're standing up, she, like, reaches for your leg um, and tries to, like, pull you, but you try to fight and get away. Describe how you kind of turn the situation around on her. Um, um, so, I, so is she on the ground as well? No, she's she's now kind of just she's. It's like she stumbled up and just immediately like reached for your leg. And all right, um, and she, she's she got doesn't have like strong one... footing. Okay. But... So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my other foot, with stick it in the pee, and smush it on her face. <laughs> push her away as hard as I can. <laughs> um, I would like um, to spend a fate point. I would like to spend a fate point that Kit is very flexible and she like kicked over her head. <laughs> like, so she like did, she's like 180 degrees with her legs, so that she had to put her toe so like past her shoulder, swung across the room. Yeah, yeah. I just love, I just like the visual of that, <laughs> just being incredibly flexible and kicking over her body and bringing show, it down. Show us with your stretch Armstrong, um, Bozo. What that was <laughs> like. How did you so, know he has a stretch Armstrong? It comes up often. <laughs> I'll use the one with a little bit more of the underwear still on. So she goes uh, to pull you, and then you what? Reach up and no, like wipe it in the face. You know when cheerleaders do the big kick where it's like a lateral kick up over her head. Yeah, so that their legs are a big line and their torso is there. You know what a I'm saying? Big oh, like line this way. Yeah. yeah, like that way. Right. Okay. <laughs> 
like that way. Come on, okay. people can do that. It's well, like a also... split school you stand. But she's also dipping her toe in the pee to then right. bring the heel of her foot all onto right. the. I'm not spinning. So so you guys that's are okay. all losers. What am I doing here? Wait, am I belly down or belly up? I thought you were belly up. Belly I don't up. care. I thought it was belly up. In the... I want to. I want to go like... home. All right, so I'm you. I'm calling my mom. You wipe it in the pee and wipe it on her face and. I'm adding an aspect for her, um, a one-time use that you can use, Piss Disgusted. Face? Piss girl. Oh. Disgusted. Okay. Good. And Better she, like, gets it in her mouth, and she immediately, like, lets go, and, like, backs up and grabs like, Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> First my sister, and now <laughs> that! <laughs> but she's uh, disgusted. If I was your sister, I would've wanted to get away from you, too, bitch. Oh, shit. Wayland! Wayland? You are um, at the door. You're looking intimidating. What would you like to do? Stand there. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm going to... Okay, there's two people left. Or, or is it that guy get knocked out? He's still standing, right? But there's the one that just um, shot yeah. me. Yeah, so the guy that just shot is up, and the, the lady is up. I guess I will just... I guess the gun is the biggest threat, so I'll, I'll secure that hostile first. I'm just going to run up, and I had a I know that I technically don't need any more pluses to fight, <laughs> but I thought of a really cool thing if you would let okay. me use it as an aspect. I want to use my rocket boots to do a supercharged kick. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> like a windmill kick in the jaw. Because they, like, fire from the bottom, right? So I just want to propel my foot or knee whatever whatever you think is more appropriate at his yeah. face driving these I'll need to roll, roll resources because the last time you used them they had a limited amount of rocket fuel oh, okay sure and let's see if you can get a little more out of the tank uh okay cool that is a oh i've got nothing to resources so that's actually just a one they've got one so you... charge <laughs> you cook your boots and you go to use it, but it's just like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. Oh, I'm just on a roll with the big negatives. I really need to put this guy down though, so I'm going to, I'm going to use uh, the closer again or a persistent as the plague, okay. uh, to nice. uh, put these enemies down. Hopefully, this reroll is better. I am going to shoot myself with a gun. <laughs> he can I've say rolled... that because he's in Canada. He can say I... that because he's in Canada. I have rolled three negatives like five <laughs> fucking so, times. So many times today. Okay. Um, that? So that's so with everything, that's two. That's two okay. um, to hit. If... Can I use the yeah. rocket boots, please? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to. Because they also roll through negatives. Right, same uh, point. No, it's can okay. My nuclear radiation power. Charge the boots. boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Charge the nuclear power. Nuclear like this power is the boots. only. This is the only piece of technology in all of the land that is powered by <laughs> nuclear energy instead of X. <laughs> Um, yes. Like I said, he rolled three negatives. <laughs> no stress, no stress, no stress. Okay. I'm just sad that I rolled so low. Dude. Um, so it's, it's not as quite as cool as you were hoping it to be, but it, um, you're not, you don't use your foot, but you still come down for a solid punch. You're using your real hand or your, um, nubbin. Yeah, I'll say, <laughs> I've got rocket fist on. I've got rocket fist on. Stop making me less cool. I do, yeah. I switched it out when I took my claw off anyway oh, okay. I, the way that I, the way that i see it is like i like was expecting the thruster to do the kneeing so like i wasn't really pushing it forward i was just raised my hip and then it like doesn't go off so then i just come down with a punch and that was kind of like an, uh yeah just like an okay. unnecessary like like sailor moon style pose to do a, a punch <laughs> it's a roman rain super punch yeah <laughs> All right, so he takes a, a point of physical stress. Um, and stay down. And uh, like I, I mentioned before, he's kind of a bigger guy. Um, and so he, like, takes it and 
grits his teeth, um, and he's coming for you next. But it is Theo. Um, uh, guard still up? Yes. Surprisingly. He's getting punched in the face again. Maybe that's a one. Um, you you go to to punch him, and he takes the gun and kind of loops around your arm and changes the trajectory of your punch, and you do not land in his face. Rip. Can I try to intimidate him with all of my blackness going on, my wispiness? Sure. <laughs> Fuck you, Austin. What happened? Why did you give me your negatives, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I promise I still have them. <laughs> uh, so that's four negatives uh, with charisma being plus oh. three. That is minus one. Mm. So this guy is just looking way too surly and confident in this moment based on nothing but his own ego. That's right. <laughs> uh, Sirkin, you got one yeah. more drone on you. Fighting this drone. All right, that is a two. For shoot. Again, just same same strategy, looping that blade around. And that same strategy is not working. God damn it. it it's almost like it was easier when it was a whole bunch of them because yeah. you could hit them at once. But now this got one. It's just like that annoying fly that you just cannot reach. <laughs> and it, it takes a miss. Kit, what are you doing? Um... While she's wiping the pee out of her face, I'm gonna grab her head and go on the end of the piss. No, um, on like like the counter there, table, counter table, whatever's around. Okay, are you using the disgusted aspect? Oh, yeah. okay. So roll fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can say that because he's that's a the one. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, it's uh, like she's too distracted and like spitting out this taste. <laughs> of for all you for all you okay. piss play fiends out there, you're welcome for this episode. Yeah, you don't get enough and representation. Gives her two. Correct. You're welcome, Charles. No, it gives that's you an aspect that you can basically use as you can yeah. give it plus two, or you can reroll with it. So that's a three. Three. Nice. That's a three. Yeah. Oh, never mind. So yeah, you slam her forehead straight in, um, and immediately you see this bloody smear on the counter as she, like, drops to the floor just at the base of it, and it, once again, instinctively goes to, like, stop the bleeding. Um, but you can tell you totally rocked her socks off. Uh, the drone, Sirkin, is just going to come in close, and it's going to try to use its propellers to cut you further. Sorry, I was muted. That's a three oh, for what athletics. What happens, Joe? What happens? And oh, hi, puppy. Crazy. Oh. Second roll to three. Yes. Oh, shit. And you, it like goes towards your legs and you just like, woohoo, and go just above <laughs> it and your nice. legs and it goes right between and you like leapfrog over it in midair. Right. Um, the side, actually the light guard with the gun is going to aim his sights on Wayland and he's going to take a shot. <sighs> Thank the Lord. Three neutrals. And a positive makes it a six. Hell yeah. Six? That's right, five so plus we... one last time I checked. Baby. <laughs> so you are in close quarters, and he goes and raises his weapon towards you and goes to take a shot. How do you turn this back on him? Uh, similar to the punch, I, like, move my head, and I fucking headbutt him. <laughs> I, like, bring my body in close, close the distance, his outstretched hand, out outstretched hand and I just bring my head and shoulders uh, under his arm. And... All right, roll the fight. I'll give it to you. Yes. Roll the three. 
So this is instead of a, of an aspect. Thank you for taking some of those low rolls. Because uh, <laughs> uh, I actually really needed that. This is a two neutrals, two positives. Make that a seven. And he killed yeah, another yeah. person. You didn't have to cut me up. Um, you know that meme with the brains going on it. Expertly, you position the forehead right where it needs to. Like and a true Irishman. He gets knocked out cold and just slumps against the wall. So he is down. All that's left in that room is the scientist. Sweet. Um, who is going to make an attempt for the door. Uh, okay. There's no attack of opportunity in this game. Um, I'm going to have her roll... Um, athletics to get by, which she has no skills in. Yeah, she's a yeah, scientist. It's a, it's a negative two. Um, how do you guys describe how you stop her from exiting? Uh, can I make a contested uh, athletics to just like restrain her? Um, sure. Let's see how you roll. Uh, okay, that is athletics is a. Jesus Christ, it's just a plus one to that number is a four. Yeah, she had a negative two. So you, (laughs) you like kind of pirouette her on her heels. um, And now the one on the ground. Do I little, do I suavely do it? Do I like get her in close like a tango or flamenco or whatever? And especially since the ground is wet. Deal for sure taught you that. spins extra. And now you've got her like locked in. Um, arms pinned against yours. This is the best meat cute. I look, yeah, I look over, I look over her bloody broken nose and the piss on her Smelling face. Smelling like piss. Streaking down her chin. <laughs> and this is the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. <laughs> um, <laughs> your turn. Uh, it's my turn? Yep. Okay, I'm going to use my new stunt, Rallying Call. Uh, and so, uh, that means, um, both Kit and um, Theo uh, Theo have a uh, aspect uh, called Rallied, which they can use once to overcome an attack, to overcome, attack, or defend. Um, and basically, I'm just going to say, okay, let's get the fuck out of here. And I'm going to, I don't know if that's an action to do, but if I have an action, I'm going to try to restrain this doctor in some way. Or knock her out like karate style. Um, I'm going to say the stunt is your action. Okay. Um, so they that you can knock her out for you. You could move, but yeah, you can't knock her out. You can't take another attack. Um, you know what? I guess assessing the situation, we need to leave. So I'm just going to, I guess, like, just like drop her and run uh, towards uh, the exit, like kind of like in a follow my lead style. Okay. So you go to the next, you go back to that hallway you were in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Theo, what are you doing? Uh, I think Theo would just grab Kit's hand and then make a way, run for the door. Kit, do you follow? Uh, can I grab that exoskeleton suit first? No? I mean, Austin thinks <laughs> that that would be incredibly cumbersome, but Ozer could be like, oh yeah, it wastes like, uh, three ounces you freaks um make a well i mean you were gonna wear it um make an athletics roll to see if well no like i, let's I was picturing like a deep really... sea diver suit that's kind of what i was picturing too like the classic old ones i i was imagining like a a high-tech space suit yeah well okay. that's just kind of a fancy Imagine... version of what i said Let's you know. and it's, Let's she's also you know. going to not die, that. not I survive. Thinking, I was thinking like Fantastic Four, like oh, like a morph incredible suit. suit. Yeah, think like more suit. like Dune. So it's it's kind of tight fitting. It's but it's oh. got some extra equipment on it, and then it also had a helmet that okay. would okay. lock in. Okay, then that would um, be kind of fun. around the collar. So let's see, because we're still not out of combat. Um, if Kit's going for the case, can Theo actually punch the doctor then? I'll see Kit hold 
Well, it's not really your turn. I'm just asking if you grab Kit, Kit, do you go with him or not? So it sounds like no. No, I'm probably going to grab the suit. Okay. If, um, if, so... it's a, it's a bill, if I can, I'm going to grab the suit. Yeah. Okay, you'll wait for your turn. Theo, so you make your way out of the room. Yeah, and I'm my turn. What the fuck are you doing? Grabbing the suit. This uh. is a prison break. Yeah? Doesn't mean you know, I Just something be? casual. My mind is just yeah. reeling with the things that Kit could do with an exoskeleton built for her. Like, fucking A. Sirkin! You're a block uh, away. Sirkin. <laughs> uh, man, alright. I'm, I'm torn. I feel like I can either, with one good attack, I can end this now, or I can take the long road, create an advantage now, and almost guarantee the kill next round. That's what I'm torn between. Because my rolls have been so middling. <laughs> Whichever you want to do. Uh, I'm going to create an advantage. I'm going to roll athletics to, because now that it came up, it's engaging me now. I'm going to fly uh, around like where maybe like the sign is still dangling around. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to fly kind of into that alley area, make it a little more enclosed, harder for it to maneuver. Okay, let's call it close quarters then. Perfect. Uh, oh my god, I should have gone for a shoot because that is all four pluses. Oh. Great. That is a waste. It's a massive waste. <laughs> so it's a plus six on my advantage. Um. So, yeah, it's gonna... You, you've managed to weave yourself. The sign, it was dangling, Um. but since it's it's now broken off and it's now created this obstacle, it's, it's mangled a little bit of itself and it's created almost like a a web of girders and iron yeah. in this alley just below. And you manage to just definitely fly between all of them and kind of enclose yourself in so that you you know that you can get out at any time, but it's going to be difficult and it's going to really control its path to you. Gotcha. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Kit. I'm going to grab the suit. Okay. Honey, uh, where is my super suit? Are you grabbing it? Why it do you need it? <laughs> can I can I easily put it on over what I'm wearing? I mean, it looks like it's it's your size. I mean, what you're um, wearing is covered in piss, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm just going to put it on. Um, I'm going to just put it on. Who cares? I smell like piss. Okay. So you see, what you see before you, there's a helmet that was kind of resting on a, a small, um, not a ledge, but it kind of, the, the dress form itself had, I'm using theater terms, it's the only ones I know, um, it had a space for the helmet to sit. And the suit, it was kind of splayed open, including um, the arms and the legs, almost like Iron Man, but even though it's not like fully metallic. And so you feel like you could step into it and kind of close it around you. So you you back out, arms wide and legs spread. And as you do, um, you feel like these clasps. Uh, it kind of gives off some steam. Like, and the, the arms close around your arms and the legs close around and the middle um, engulfs you. And as soon as it does, you feel it kind of tighten against your body to even fit you a little tighter. Um, and then, do you grab the helmet as well? It's not going to be too cumbersome, yeah. And you put it on? I mean, I'm going to not put it on necessarily. I'll probably put it under my arm and just run. Okay. Yeah, we'll just like, for a take, take it by take it by like the visor part and bash her in the head as you run <laughs> So I'll say putting the suit on and holding the helmet is your action. Um, are you trying to leave this area? Yeah, I'm out oh. Um, Roll athletics. As a two. Um, so as you're starting to leave the area, she does, um, like almost from the floor, she was kind of keeled over 
after the the knock in the head and she grabs your ankle again and just keeps you from easily like booking it out of this room um and as she's got you by the ankle she's going to make an attack and she's just going to try to like pull you down to the floor while screaming i need backup i need backup and austin laughed when i said i punch her in the face <laughs> i thought you i i don't know i i, I didn't mean i should give up by so roll defense Good or bad? I'm guessing bad. Three. Oh. Hell no. Ar nar. <laughs> you're going to leave. Like, now you've got these almost like heavy boots on, and you're not as nimble as you just were and were used to being. You feel kind of clunky. And she grabs your, your ankle, and you also slip in the piss. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ah. And so you drop the floor, yes. and the helmet goes rolling towards the door. Um, and she just kind of puts her body on top of you. Like, you're not getting away until you Oh, uh, you have the rallied uh, aspect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can reroll. You may yeah. if you want to. Yeah. I'm gonna. Or otherwise, Theo might kill somebody. Just throwing it out there. Dude, Waylon might kill somebody too. I've also. <laughs> it's with the with that aspect. It makes it from a two to a four. So for total, you were a negative two before. Yeah. No, I was negative three before. Okay. So now I you're a four total. One. So if you add the aspect, it goes from like it goes to a four. So I rolled a two. You add the aspect. Got it. So that changes things a little bit. You yeah. you slip and she gets on top of you, but you do manage um, to kick her off. And um, it was her attack, right? So yeah, you kick her off right in that point that her head was previously slammed. Um, I'm gonna headbutt her. <laughs> nice. If she's like so you standing over one, me, two. I'm gonna be like. I should have put the damn helmet on. <laughs> Waylon, Waylon smiles for the second time. Yeah, because you... Good good thing with that rally, because you completely changed the situation, and she's now yeah. knocked out cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. And don't forget that you have one, too. I love... I love... I mean, I feel like a bard now, all of a sudden. Hey, don't forget <laughs> you're inspired. <laughs> all right, where are you headed? Who's... Who's you? Um, sorry, you three. You were headed towards the door. Where are you headed to? I'm going to my hole that I made. Okay. So then as you're exiting this room and you're heading back the way that you came, you go down the one hallway and you turn right towards the door that you had first come through. And who's standing before you? Commander Oren. Poopy Pants McGee. Gun drawn. This large figure. Hand a uh, large mustache. Yeah. Halt! It's Commander Orens. Uh, 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 I'm going to use uh, my hook shot. Uh, this is my alt for those of you at home. I'm going to try to knock this guy's ass out. I'm going to use non-lethal, obviously. Um, but I'm going to put him down right away. Hang on. i got to make a card for Commander Oren then. Okay. Mm, no. T picked the right day to wear that most wanted shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt, I, need, I need to buy that shirt. That shirt's so rad. We need an updated one now. Yeah, we do. Yeah, eh? Jeez. All right, so you, you take a, a sh shot. You're shooting your rocket fist? Yes. Okay. Um, Go for it. Uh, okay, cool. So I rolled it while you were making that card. Um, 
and I am going to invoke uh, the closer just to make sure that this gets done, um, which will make that a nine. Nice. Jesus! Hell fuck. yeah! A nine? Yeah, fuck gonna, yeah. I gotta make sure this guy goes to sleep. Uh, well, I don't think he's going him. to sleep. I think he's dying. Not he's not gonna not. die. He's not gonna die. I just had to make sure that if he rolled really positive for his defense, that it was still plenty of shifts. Um, all right. Yeah. So basically, all I do is he's I, not he, dead. He's in a coma. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's alive. Um, so he goes up. He's like, um, he's like freeze or whatever. And uh, I don't even break stride. I just go and I pull back and I fire uh, the rocket fist from like I don't know, like probably ten feet away. Um, and uh, yeah, I just uh, aim square for his chest and just try to knock him on his ass. So. For the first time, he's he's got a very low furrowed brow, and for the most part, you can barely see his eyes. They just dark, <laughs> beauty hole. But as he sees this rocket fish coming towards him, you see for the first time his eyes look like in a shocked expression as this rocket fist just hits him square in the solar plexus. <laughs> <laughs> and you can almost feel the wind, even from your distance, of the air leaving his lungs. Um, and he's knocked back against the door and then falls to his knees. And he just looks up. This is an act of war. <laughs> and drops to his face. That, um, I pick up my fist and I run past him. Mm. Can Theo grab his gun? Sure. Nice. So add a light guard pistol to your inventory. <sighs> I just want to say, Bozer, for uh, I want to make sure this gets in your notes. I'm wearing my mask. Theo doesn't look like Theo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kid is definitely being broken out of jail. Noted. Good point. And I'm Sirkin Sorok. <laughs> Sirkin, you are now inside this weaving of iron and girder mm -hmm. as its drone is headed in your direction. What are you doing? Uh, uh, let me know how we can do this, uh, what you think. My, my thought is, since I have the advantage now waiting for it to try to come in and attack me and use it being extremely limited to get a bonus. All right, so you're basically holding your action until yeah. it's attacking? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, um, can I add a little bit of flavor to this? Uh, yeah. In the sense of just because Sirkin is a twisted fucking psychopath? Yeah. Um, Are you doing the uh, Dark Knight, like, Joker? Like, come on, come on, I want you to do it. <laughs> no, uh, and, and you you could read that in the lava lamp of my eyes <laughs> the desire for them to do it so almost like it's propelled by function and duty it immediately just speeds towards you um but you can see before it was so nimble in its movement and as it enters in this tight alley uh on top of things being kind of strewn about you can see that it's it's almost like it can only drive in a straight path towards you. All right, now I'm going to roll shoot, try to take it out. Go for it. Are you adding close quarters? Um, yes, but I'm uh, I'm going to also spend a fate point, uh, invoke uh, scholarly aspirations, and okay. uh, as though I'm trying to. Um, triangulate the exact moment where it's going to come through where I'm most offended to essentially reach out and just obliterate it. So okay. I'm so that's I'm going to use it to re-roll. Okay. It's almost okay. like you've read like a war tactician's notebook or something. Oh, for sure. All right, with that plus 2 from close quarters, that is a 4. Mm. Still rolling like shit. Previously, it would have tied it, but because 
it is lost its ability to move. Um, I basically eliminated its drive skill, which is how they've been avoiding you previously. Um, so describe how it explodes. <laughs> um, it comes through and it, the, the poor AI doesn't even realize it before it's too late that there's no room to go. It's wound up in a, in a death in a kill box. And I bring the blades, one top, one bottom, and slice through it in half. Uh, nice. Splitting it down the middle in both ways, so it spirals away. Hell yeah, dude. Nice! Okay, so you are now a block of way. Um, you three just pushed past the door, and now you're back in the cell block. Um, you've got a hallway to your right, which Light Guard had previously come down. And then those three cells on... Uh, just ahead of you on your right, the third of which being Kit's previous set with a hole in the wall. Um, is my ex giving me any, the usage of my ex powers giving me any indication of? Um, roll expertise. Josh, was that your cat? It sure was. <laughs> She's a bit. This <laughs> negative two uh also kit has never had she's had x before she's never had it in her eyes how does it change your her sight eh? that's what is frustrating for her while she was hoping that it would open her mind like circuits um it's like her her will for it to work and this deep seated uh hatred towards it are fighting within her um and as soon as you try to access it once again that ringing noise kind of peers in your ear and that splitting headache rips through your skull and, and this you is die. It, 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 so you're essentially out of combat um you do hear these sirens going off in the building um you would assume that more light guard are probably on their way what would you like to do um, I am going to escort Kit out of the window, and I'm going to attach my hand to the uh, claw that's still grappled up on the side of the wall, and, and I'm going to look at Theo and very earnestly look at <laughs> like dead in the eyes and be like, "You can fly or something, right?" I'll figure it out. Try to fart. <laughs> I'm going to need you to fart for me, Daddy. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, I like kind of ex like reach my hand out towards Kit to like pull her out of the building. Which... She's gonna look back at Theo and like walk towards Waylon. Pardon. Sweet. How? So they've been addressing this person as Theo, and it feels, or at least like a trusted relationship, and the suit looks similar to the last time that you saw Theo in the courtroom, but his visage is completely shifted. His skin is dark and darkening um, with every moment of combat. His head is almost just purpley wisp. What's going through your mind? I need to change my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna start chafing. Um, I don't think Kit has time to think. Sure. I think she's, you know, we'll come back to that later type of stuff. Okay. But like... Yeah, she looks at the and just like... <laughs> she might even think he's a different person at this point. Waylon's not fighting him, so it's fine. <laughs> and then yeah. you go with Wayland? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Waylon, roll burglary to see how well you thwip away. Thwip. thwip. Um, I thwip with ease. Um, I'm going to, um, I'm going to just invoke, uh, once a criminal, always in criminal to make sure that I get a, a better role than that. Okay. Um, but you know me, uh, that's a three. All right. Um, you notice that she's a little heavier than you previously remember and you would assume it because of the suit, even though it fits her, her like, yeah, now she's wet. <laughs> Waterlogged. Um, yeah. Oh, if it's like a rough. Worse. But um, all the machinery and the equipment on it and the helmet 
uh, is a little heavier than you imagine. So you you don't have difficulty, but your getaway is not as easy as it was getting here solo. Sure. Yeah, just like the adjustment. Theo, what are you doing? Uh, Theo's going to climb out, and we're going to see what power he gets to get out of here. It's a 41. I thought, I would, dude, I thought that was your dummy dice. And I was like, that's not, that's not funny. <laughs> so you, you step out and with this hope and this wish, you tap into your innate abilities. And it's almost like starting at your feet. Um, you feel like a breeze pick up. Oh. And as you focus on it, you you begin to speed up the airflow. Does at the that base of look familiar to Wayland? Uh, if you were to look back, it might very much look familiar. Ooh. Uh, do I roll for expertise to see how well? Yes. That's only a two. <laughs> It's awkward. You oh, you try to use walls for sure. Yeah, you try to use the air around you as you realize this new tapped ability of manipulating the air itself, almost like an airbender. But the the breeze is strong. They're still in this area. It's kind of filled with the the low lying fog of the mist uh, from the Odysseum spell. It's subsiding a little more at this point. Um, it's not quite as high, but it's still there. And it's just enough to kind of alter your senses. And with this awkward new ability now, yeah, you you bounce around the walls um, and the building adjacent to the Citadel as well as the Citadel itself. And you, you try to make some height um, banging a little bit. I'm going to say take a point of physical stress. Yeah, that's fair. If you have a slot of available. Sure do. Okay. But you you follow, but it's it's not right on Wayland's heels. He's still moving much faster, even with the added weight of Kit. Hey, a way is a way. Sirkin, what are you doing? Uh, I'm flying back to the hole in the wall to uh, see to help with the escape if I need to. My essentially following Wayland's lead. Yeah, and it's about that time that you head towards the wall, and from a distance, first you see. Wayland exit with Kit, or at least a some sort of individual that are, is covered. Oh no, she's in the helmet on. You see Kit, but she's wearing the armor. And then shortly after, as you're coming up to the hole, you see Theo try to take off and almost like knock into you as well, as he's pinballing out and eventually making his way. I reach out, out my hand for him to grab nope. hold of my hand. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll at the very least keep you from falling to your death. Theo reluctantly takes his hand. <laughs> oh my god, Peter Pan style? Yeah! <laughs> but if and Peter Pan was on meat hooks. Yeah, and instead yeah. of straight on till dawn, it's straight into the dusty warehouse in the iron corners. <laughs> <laughs> so with the added aid of having almost like a kite next to you, <laughs> together... <laughs> Me kite. You kind of fly better together Don't because you're, you're using <laughs> if this is air the around. Yeah. I don't know what is? Sirkin, you're using that extra gust of wind behind you to kind of draft upon, and then you're acting as a sail yeah. for Theo. Fuck yeah! Damn, there's and some rewards I want to pay Austin for, and I don't know what's priority right now. <laughs> <laughs> we be, we our powers combined, we became a parasail. <laughs> <laughs> is that it are you holding two hands <laughs> I'm, at, I'm grabbing by the feet yeah <laughs> I can it show looks, you the it water. looks like I'm in that harness because my flesh is uh -huh. so you guys I are can... headed back to the warehouse yeah, yeah. okay I know. Um, it takes a little bit a little bit longer than you expected but um, in about 10-15 minutes or so you make it across the city. Um, go ahead and roll stealth just to check something. All of us? 
Yes. I'm gonna spend my last fate point because I simply cannot roll a positive. Oh, oh okay. still can't. That's a three. Uh, my stealth is decent though, right? Oh no, it's not. It's uh, uh it's I a just one. Look like floating clothes. Uh, can I spend a fate point and re-roll at using my expertise for my eyes? Um, sure. Much better. That is four. So four from you, a three from you, Theo. Mm -hmm. What'd you get, Waylon? One. This is a one. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, should I have done this? Yeah. Or no. <laughs> what, do you guys, what, what do you do in America? Is it pinky. this? Yeah, you start with the pinky. And Sorry, you your way in. My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> You got a five? Oh, would you no. work it? Couple ones over here. One. All right, five, three, one, and one. I'm taking it as a kind of group stealth. Um, for the most part, you you feel like you made it away, though you do notice an immediate increase in um, drone coverage throughout the city. It's almost like they've been activated, not just in the Citadel, but from their bases across Aurora. Skynet. Oh wait, time out. Are, are we head? Did we head to the warehouse or did we head to the Reach? Uh, warehouse. We got to cool off. Okay, perfect. Okay. So after ten or fifteen minutes or so, trying to duck, duck and dodge around a few extra drones that are now peppering the skies above the city, you do manage to make it back to the safe house. Oh, that's There's why I rolled a bad here. stealth. Because they peppered the sky too much, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh shit!" Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I guess we've got Theo to deal with. Um, I guess Kit probably has some trauma to dump on us. What do you mean about um, deal with Theo? Theo's fine. Theo's not fine. Theo's great. I, Waylon thinks Theo may be dissolving. <laughs> Um, does anybody see Al? <laughs> oh, shit. We left him here. Strange enough, as you come back to where you thought you left him in the cribbage game, he is nowhere to be seen. He didn't clean the shit up either. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if we're wrapping up anytime soon, but if we are, uh, Waylon pulls up a chair and just like motions for Sir to just touch my saying, We just finished this cribbage game? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I like like the end of Avengers where everyone eats the shawarma. Yeah, exactly. No, we don't even talk about what happened. We just sit down and decompress by finishing yeah. the game. <laughs> That's a morning conversation. And with that in strange total silence beyond how the fuck do you play this game? You guys sit down <laughs> for a Christmas game um, and take your rest until morning. So that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Um, when we begin next episode, the physical stress that you gained from the fight will have recovered. Whew. My none, my zero damage I took. Oh no. Did you really? Yeah, I, I was uh, unscathed. Huh? And ah. I'd taken one more hit. I, I would have been dealing with some consequences. I just want to say before oh, we sign off, I just want to say before we sign off that it is balanced that all of my stuff is so high because of just how so often, much how often i still like with a plus five i <laughs> still roll twos and threes which just that's so many negatives dude i all episode it was my shoot is a plus two i was rolling a plus and minus and then blanks like pretty much most of the campaign today <laughs> this is how the dice roll. it is it's fate Hey. Well, congratulations on making it through your first full party in attendance combat situation. Yeah. Uh, nobody died. Um, you have now made an enemy of all of your light guard resources. Yeah, you don't know who he was. Know. It's true. You do not look like Theo. And um, he didn't but, look like Waylon. Waylon had a mask on. They don't know who broke Kit out. They just know that Kit, who they do 
have the identity. Yeah. So they can be pissed at Kit all day. They want. know that Cirk and Sirocco broke out Kit Pfeiffer. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah, that yes. part's true. Yeah. I got a couple so working we'll see... titles. Ready? You're in yeah. for a surprise. You're in for a treat. You're in trouble. You're in or you're out. <laughs> Please add those to the Discord. Good. Oh, Good. they are. Yes. Oh, perfect. I said thank you. Somebody just text those to Farrell so he has zero context for several <laughs> weeks. <laughs> but thank you guys for joining us in today's unhinged, as always, episode of Cloudscape. Um, I... Again, have no idea what's going to happen next, but you now have a couple extra guns on you. You have a exoskeleton suit that can assumedly withstand against Raz Odysseum on the surface. This is the wildest origin story. <laughs> You've got the entire light guard authorities searching for you, and we'll see what happens next week here on 4 Geeks by Geeks. But until next time, I am Bozer. I'm Josh. I'm Princess Pussy Pants. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm T. <laughs> and you just keep geeking out. out. Is that right? Bye. Bye.